This is Dell XPS 159570. And today we're going to reinstall Windows in UEFI format. Okay. So first of all, you should have one of them. And to check the model number or service tech to update the driver, by the way, if you lift off this buckle, you can see all the details about your machine. All right. So make sure you create one of them correctly. Make sure you know the difference between UEFI and legacy. And once you have that, then you need to connect the charger. It does not matter how good battery that you have, how long it lasts. Why do you do that? I would suggest you please connect your charger all the time until you finish the setup. So I'm going to try in that way because there is another USB port. Once it connected, we're going to press the power button. And straight away, we're going to come back to F2 and keep pressing it until we see getting into the bio screen. Okay. So a few times, it doesn't make any difference as much as you do. And now you can see that is the BIOS page on the top. It shows Dell XPS 9570 model. Now to change the USB boot correctly for UEFI, we're going to use the up and down key to select the options and hit enter to proceed. So now we need to get into boot sequence. And as you can see, this is already pre set up to EUFI, which one has to be that way. Okay, and I can see on the top boot sequence, it shows my connected USB thumb drive. And then we're going to get into advanced boot options. And as you can see here, it says enable legacy that has to be unticked. Okay, option ROM, enable legacy option ROM ha has to be not checked. And then the most important one is secure boot, which is that one. And once you hit enter, it has to be enabled. As you can see, this is already checked. Secure boot enabled. It has to be that way. So those are the settings for EVFI. Once again, three major things to do. Secure boot, advanced boot option, boot sequence. That one unchecked. and then boot sequence EVFI. Okay, that is only if you want to install in EVFI. What about if you would like to do in legacy? I'm going to show you how to do that. So legacy would be the opposite. So make sure you take you take the checkout, unchecked it, and then enable these legacy option rooms and boot sequence in legacy now is going to work so that's for legacy option so you found both of them there are three things as i said it's same one opposite another when you want to do uefi make sure you choose uefi i'm repeating because sometimes people make things mess make sure you uncheck it for uefi and then secure boot enable all right so now we're going to save the changes and restart the machine. So once you click on exit, it's going to restart. While it restart, keep rapidly pressing F12 to get into temporary boot option. In that way, manually, you can choose your USB thumb drive. I mean, bootable drive. Keep pressing it. And it shows it's loading up. Now, if I boot the top two, those are my USB stick. So I'm going to hit enter once it highlighted. And now it's going to take a little bit of time. It depends, as I always say, it depends on how fast is your computer and how fast is your USB and USB port. Okay, if you don't see anything on the screen, don't be surprised. It could take a couple of minutes even more. Now, as you can see, something is spinning. And here you go. We are in the Windows setup page. Select whatever you would like to select. Install now. We're going to do clean installation. So we're going to lose the data. So be careful if you follow this procedure. Make sure you back up your laptop before we get into that point. Now, accept the terms and condition. To read the details, you can go further. You can read everything if you would like. But without accepting it, they're not going to allow you to do that. Now, here is the option. There are two. If you would like to do fresh installation, you have to go for custom, install Windows only, and hit enter or click it. Now, as you can see, there is one terabyte SSD 
I'm going to make partition. I will show you how to do that. As you can see, it says new. Once you click here and you can customize the actual size. So I'm going to cut the nine from the left and I'm going to put five. So 57 gigabyte or oh, 570 gigabyte. And as you can see, there is unallocated space. I'm going to create new and I'm going to leave it as it is. Now it created two partition. I'm going to choose the bigger one for C drive, which is partition number three and hit next. Once you do that, then the main process should begin. It's going to copy all the necessary file and folders to the directory. It's going to install all the features plus the built-in updates. And finally, it would finalize everything and get things done. It might take 10 to 15 minutes, depend on how fast SSD in there, how fast processor. Okay, if you leave it like that, it's going to take a couple of uh, restart to finish the setup. And at the end, there are a lot of features that you can opt in, opt out. It's up to you. Windows always suggests to enable everything so that can get you more in control on them. So it's up to you. I'm going to wait until it's get done. I just wanted to see if it is successful or not. Stay with me. Let's see end of this video. All right, so here might be a problem. Sometimes uh, many people did face. So when they get into this species section, they created two partition, but they can see only one. So why is there another partition? Or if you do have two drive in there, then what is the secondary drive? So to solve this problem, what you should do, as you can see, there are two partition. Once I remove my USB, the other partition also disappear. So I'm gonna show you how to solve it. Go to the search box and type partition and you're going to find the option called create partition and now as you can see there are two the right hand side one is the d drive which is not showing up at this moment so i'm going to delete this row partition and recreate one in ntfs once i create again it's going to show up into this PC section and everything is fine here. So thanks for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.